G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to the channel. In this new episode and mini-series, we'll be exploring part of the Cedarburg region with a new project vehicle, the Toyota Land Cruiser 80 series turbo diesel. If you haven't seen the previous introduction video, you can click on the top right hand side link on your screen. The Cedarburg is a vast region stretching from Pakhe Pass about 210 kilometers north of Cape Town to Grootrevier, 170 north of Cape Town. It's famous for its remarkable sandstone and shale rock formations deposited some 500 million years ago, as well as its namesake, an increasingly rare Clan William cedar tree. Liz and I decided to hit the road over a long weekend to explore the Cedarburg region and the first trip for the Land Cruiser on the future episodes to come. Our trip began by entering the Cedarburg area on the northern part via the N7 and R364. Yes. What are we going to do after this alcohol ban lockdown rule? We're going to jump in the Branaveinsrafir. A river called Branaveinsrafir. And I think we sorted from them. Our first stop for lunch was a restaurant situated on the bank of the Branaveinsrafir, on route to the Rocklands area, which is famous among the Baldwin community and one of the best spots in South Africa. How does it iced tea taste this on? <laughs> Seeing as you're a tea lover. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing quite as enjoyable as a wood fired pizza with fresh ingredients in the middle of nowhere. We've decided to hit the road again for a long weekend trip to the Cedarburg, uh, Lausanne's first trip in the Cedarburg and we're going to visit the old town of Wuppertal, areas in the surrounding, do a few uh, hiking trails. Today is going to be a chill day, Thursday morning and we're going to visit Enjo Farm first, camp there for the night and then work our way down south via Wuppertal to Sundruff where we're going to meet up with the rest of the guys and um, yeah, enjoy this lacquer weekend. <laughs> Okay, first dirt road for the trip and from here it's only going to be dirt road gravel so I'm going to let down the wheels a bit so it's better on the road, more grip on the dirt roads and as well as better suspension in the vehicle itself, less rattles in the vehicle. So I'm going to drop this down from 2 bar to about 1.4, just going to see how the road looks like. I've got the vehicle loaded up so I'll see how this vehicle drives and uh, take it from there. Now I often get asked about tire pressures on a vehicle, well the short answer is it really depends. There's quite a few factors like the vehicle weight, the tire size, the tire type and also the terrain that you drive. I'm running bigger 33 inch mud terrain tires on this vehicle with a semi stiff sidewall so I'm deflating them to get the ideal contact patch of this area. Let us know in the comment section down below what tire pressures you prefer on driving dirt roads. Honestly I could have gone down low with the tire pressures even more. But I wanted to keep my speed up to drive over the corrugations and not overheat the tires here. It might sound a bit silly but that's one of the main reasons why tires blow out, they delaminate and eventually later in their life they fail. This was my first time visiting the Cedarburg this time of year. I've never seen the field so green with all the rain that came down this winter and also quite a bit we're expecting as well. As soon as we dropped down the Hoekseberg Pass, or also known as the Bitter Valley Edcake Pass, we turned left on our way to Enjo Farm. A well-known site and area for wildflowers in springtime, an absolutely beautiful site with the recent rains of the area.
Zahn's usually the driver for most of these drive-by shots because I'm very particular of, of the shot I want and I usually get it wrong but at least I can blame myself that time. So it's just easier, easier for her to drive the vehicle and especially for this car being automatic and the diesel, the torque and everything, a lot easier than the Land Rover to drive. our first camp for the long weekend here at Angel Farm right next to the river it's still green it's amazing but it is quite chilly so we're expecting very cold temperatures tonight but before the sun sets and before we can start the fire quickly unpack that setup I've got all the stuff packed in the back get that out pitch it up the tent and then open a beer and enjoy the rest of this view Right, and that's the camp setup. That wasn't even 30 seconds if you look at the time lapse time. <laughs> so the tent ducky isn't on. We're only sleeping for one night. There's no rain coming. We don't need shade. We're under the tree. The gazebo is not set up because it's only a one nighter. And we're next to the river. Relatively a quick setup, and we know that thing can take the weather if you throw it at it. Now it's time to finally open up a beer and just sit back and relax. So someone very smart decided to ban alcohol completely, to ban the, the, the distribution and the transport of it. So obviously you can't transport the stuff in your car to camp, so I had to get creative a bit. Here we've got engine oil additive. This is all in the tool, uh, the tool drawer. We've got distilled water, brake fluid. And the last one, Diff Oil. This is brandy, my own rum, and my other distilled um, vodka, barrel aged, and gin. <laughs> so, this one you want some distilled water? <laughs> oh, these things are the best. You can never give yourself too much, because it's always a top measure. 25 mils. Two of those.
forgot the hand towel, so there's newspaper and a, an old ice cream tub. Perfect for camping. Actually, very practical, very handy. Apparently, not very classy though. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Fantastic! That's actually crispy. Okay, let's dish up. And it's munch. Mm. This is good. See you tomorrow. Cheers. After making one of my favorite camping meals, rustic chips and uh, stan rubiki next to the fire, it was time to turn in for the night and rest for the new day and the new challenges ahead. Please like and share this video if you enjoyed it and would like to see another episode. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and hit that bell icon for future uploads. Cheers, check you guys next time.